the album is coming out, Mango Tail. I oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah talk first... about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course the album's coming out. I like, oh, I'm so excited. I just like, it's, I'm like ha so happy that's like coming to fruition, like after um, wanting to put this out since forever. And um, I've been putting like my heart and soul into like making sure all the songs are like my favorite songs ever and like, and, like doing all the production and like songwriting and like all the it's been fun though it's like i had to find different ways to find inspiration um like on my own <laughs> and that and most of that is like just through going on the internet and watching like funny videos and watching tiktoks and going on twitter and like saying hi to people online you wrote two songs in quarantine you wrote halo halo and medicine so maybe talk to us about that whole process i mean yeah. you kind of started a little bit but maybe elaborate a little more yeah oh yeah um so hollow hollow um that's a great actually yeah those two songs we were done in quarantine but i forgot to mention that there's a couple more that were done in quarantine too there's this other one um there's this other song called tokyo t on the album and pretty much the way i've been working with like collaborations on these songs is um and it's so much different for me because i'm so used to working in person and like being able to like catch energy in person and like bounce energy back in like a room um but now i i've been trying to get used to um making songs over dms over facetime over video call and it's a lot different. I know that you said um, that you've grown so much with this record. So maybe take us through that. You know, how, how would you say you've grown musically into the person with this new material? Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing pop music since like since like 2016 or 2017. But um, I started like I started doing pop music sessions like. Started, like like serious like getting into the room with like big pop songwriters and like um collaborating that way like that st that started happening in 2017 i um met this really amazing songwriter justin trander and he put me into like so many different rooms with like big songwriters and big pop artists and i would learn firsthand just from being thrown into the fire and having to learn like just from picking up and like and watching um, Justin Tanner work, watching like other pop artists work. Um, and it's like, there there were so many things that I was, I just like, um, like before it was just me making beats in my house, but, but like cut to like 2017 and now I'm like in the room with like, um, like the Jonas Brothers or like Haley Seinfeld. And I've grown a lot too. I've like, my tastes have like developed so much um, my production has like grown exponentially. I've, I've learned so many more techniques and like I've learned how to song write. But like in 2016, like when I first started, I felt like I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and but I just happened to like make beats and people like them. So that but that's pretty much how all this started. But I I still don't know how to do everything. But I learned. I'm like a lot more smarter than I was back then. And it's crazy to think, you know, you have like Katy Perry and Jason Derulo and Matt, <laughs> like commenting on your Instagram posts and yeah. things like that. They're fans of your music. How does that feel? It's amazing. Oh yeah, speaking of Jason Derulo, I've we've done so many songs together. Um, well, I've yeah, I've learned a lot from being at Jason Derulo's house and like working with him a lot. And like he calls me like every once in a while, like um usually at the most random times to like come come work with him at a studio um not really recently because i've been busy with my album and like um we're all we're all in like quarantine and whatnot but um like before quarantine like i i'll go to his house like almost every other night for like a, for like two weeks and we just make songs and um it was it was like really cool but also really new and interesting for me because he, he's like a night owl, so he likes making music at like 2 a.m. in the morning where I, I'm trying to sleep, but it's like if you get a call from Jason Derulo at like 1 in the morning, I, I like, I want to, <laughs> I'll, I'll get my ass out of bed and I'll like drive there to like 
make a best make an amazing song with you. So I did that for um, a bit, and like I love the songs that we did. Um, and with Katy Perry, oh, I don't, that was like such a surprise. She just like retweeted me, and like I I it took. I was trying to process that for a minute, and I didn't know how to like take. I was like, wait, hold up, how did Carrie, how did Katy Perry find this? Like, I, I just posted it, and all of a sudden, like the first, like the first verified tab um, notification I got was Katy Perry retweeted you, <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I was just so taken aback. I was like, oh, thank you, thanks, mom. I. <laughs> I don't know how this happened, but I appreciate you. I thank you so much. Your fans are really nice to me, um, and I'm glad you like. <laughs> I'm glad you like the stuff I post on Twitter. It's very funny. <laughs> and you know, I did well, get listen to the album, and um, it's very upbeat. So, what do you really want people to take away when they listen to your music? Yeah, um, yeah I, I really want people to like. Um, it's like. <laughs> There's a lot of different things I want people to take out of it, but a lot more so like the storytelling of the, like, the album, the emotion behind the album. Like each song feels like it has its own place of where it sits on the album. And like, it's a lot of like colorful like production and like the songwriting and like all the production stuff. It, it's very purposefully, um, brightly storytelling. You know, you post on Instagram all these different beats, I guess that, you know, you make, and then you're like, who would you like to see on this song <laughs> so is there like yeah. one person you really want like to be featured with with these beats oh that's a good question uh um i got a lot of responses saying doja cat and like doja is like one of my favorite people um i've worked with her for a bit back in like i want to say last year no probably two years ago like doja and i did a bunch of songs together but it was it was just for fun it was like we were like in an airbnb and um, we weren't taking it seriously. We just I just made a bunch of random beats and then Doja would rap like verses on top of them. So like, we just have a bunch of random songs, but nothing that feels like, like a diamond, nothing that feels like a smash gem. Um, they're all just like little like personal bops and like stuff that like we made from scratch and like rough ideas. Um, but a lot of people like on my Instagram stuff, they'll tag Doja Cat and like she'll text me like, Yo, send me that beat, and then I'll send it, <laughs> and then we'll I'll like forget about it for a week or like um and then she's busy as well like she's she's popping off right now she's like she has like a million things on her plate right now so it's like it's like um she has a lot of other things to respond to but yeah I think I'm trying to think who else would who's like a lot of people tag like Kyle little Lod little Yachty mm -hmm. um. I remember someone tagged Jason Drulo, and I think that's how he found my videos, is through being tagged. Well, we are celeb secrets, so when I interview people, I ask them, you know, like some behind the scenes secrets. So what's maybe something yeah. about your record that people aren't gonna know when they listen to it? Oh, good question. To think about that for a bit. Um, oh, that's good. So in the process of making the record, like we did, um, I. I have this cartoon on Cartoon Network that I really like called We Bear Bears. It's this cartoon about these three bears who like are, they're, they're like, they try to fit into like human society. So they like, they like explore the city of San Francisco as like, as if they're human, but they're bears. Um, so the people, um, so some of my favorite artists and animators who work on that show um, helped me put together a bunch of storyboards and a bunch of visual like pieces of art to like um to like help me this to help me like define and like describe what i wanted the visual aspect of my album to look like and that's why like you look at the album art and it's like it's um it's this island called mango tail and like it's me riding a giant dog and like uh <laughs> a giant and it's also a bird that flies like by my shoulder and there's like a volcano in the background and like um and like we we spent probably like a few nights at my house back in 2017 like me and like some animators some of my animator friends from this Cartoon Network show and um 
like I met them at Cartoon Network. I visited Cartoon Network one day, like a long time ago, and I I met them and like um, we sort of just became friends. And it's these two animators, Louis and Christina, who are like who are so good at like that they'll they draw so fast. So that's so like they're like the fastest animators at Cartoon Network, um, or they were um, until they like like moved over to like. Netflix or like whatever they're they're working at now, um, but like when they they came to my house, like Louis rode his bike like five miles all the way to my house with like a a pad or like with this um what do you call it? It's like it's like a pad that he draws on. But he came over and he drew like an entire cartoon in my living room of like different frames of like of like me and like this island and like. A bunch of trees and like a bunch of fruit and like that's how like the the story and like how the visual aspects of like this album came together. It's like they they came to my house and we made like a little storyboard of a cartoon together. Whoa, yeah. That's awesome. So, that's such a cute. Yeah, it's so, I love it. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like uh I like I love that kind of thing. Or like it feels like making comics or like making like a cartoon show, but. but like imagine it like happening right at your house or like I don't know, but but like yeah, imagine it happening for an album and it's like it's like I love that sort of I appreciate that sort of creativity. Like I'm not the best, I'm not even like a good visual artist, but like someone finding like like some of your favorite animators who work on your one of your favorite cartoons, like come to your house and and like draw you a cartoon. It's like it's like one of the most inspiring things. That's really dope. Well, Sean, mm -hmm. thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Oh, thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on everything. And listen, we want to hear some of those Doja Cat songs. Eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably like, if probably in the future one day, I'll tweet it out or like. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Maybe well, you like, have an amazing yeah. day. Stay safe. And hopefully we we'll see you soon. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much. Peace.